my mum always made a fantastic Christmas pudding. Of course, you can't have Christmas dinner without a Christmas pudding. But the alternative Christmas pudding was a lemon souffle, a chilled lemon souffle, not a hot one. And it still, to me, says Christmas every time I taste it. So I'm going to make one today. I've got my lemons, of course. But first of all, my egg yolks, six egg yolks. And I'm going to grate the zest of the lemons into those eggs. So this is my mum's recipe for lemon souffle and she loved it. It was, yeah, it was actually one of the great treats of the Christmas meal and Christmas day. And my role was to decorate the iced lemon souffle. Always, 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 I did that. And we would have, oh, golly, we'd have little silver balls, little yellow comfits, flaked almonds, you name it, it went on to the iced lemon souffle. It was such fun and kept me out of the way for ooh, five or 10 minutes, I guess. So what have we got? We've got our egg yolks, we've got our lemon zest. I'm going to pop in some sugar. And then, then I need one more thing. I need the actual juice of the lemons. Squeeze this in. So what happens now is this goes over to a pan of very gently simmering water and I'm going to whisk it together over the water to dissolve the sugar and just to thicken the egg yolks a little and we'll begin to get the mousse effect that we need for this souffle. So I've been stirring this and whisking it for about five minutes now, and it's just thickened slightly. Not a lot, but enough, I think. And you can tell it's ready because the mixture is slightly less translucent. It's just looking a little bit sort of more like a custard. So what I need to do very quickly while it's still very hot, is to take out these. These are my sheets of gelatine. Look at that, wibbly wobbly. And they've been soaking in cold water for about five minutes. And I love using sheets of gelatine because they do just melt into hot liquids. In that goes. I mean, it's that easy. So now I've got my gelatine mixed in. I haven't finished. I've got a bit more to do. And I'm going to use my hand whisk his time, pull that over to go electric. Ah, oh, blessed peace. So that is the moussey mixture. You can see it's really thick now. It also quite cool, and that's critical because next. I'm going to fold in some whipped cream. There we go. Let's fold in a little bit at first. And then, lovely. Fold that in. Here we are. And egg whites. And that gets folded in as well. This is something. And I think it's a shame we don't do as much as we used to in this country. Making mousses used to be something that, you know, very, very British. And they are lovely. Everybody likes these old fashioned puddings. That is that done. And now I need to prepare the dish. Now this is called an iced souffle. Uh, but of course it's not a real souffle. A real souffle you put it in the oven and it rises up. So to sort of simulate that vaguely, I'm going to make a little collar of paper around my souffle dish. I'm just using uh, non-stick baking parchment. Just very, very simple. And in goes the lemon souffle mixture. There we go. I see, that's great. Just the right amount. Now, that's going to take quite a long time to set, probably six hours, maybe even a little bit more. So it's best made the day before. Look, this is it. My souffle has set. 
you know what you can see, barely a wobble. And I'm now going to decorate it, and I like to decorate it before I remove the paper collar, just because the collar helps support it and gives a little bit of strength. So I'm going to pop these toasted almonds all the way round. That's it, my chilled lemon souffle. Perfect pudding to serve after that magnificent rib roast and the gratin of Brussels sprouts. <laughs>